I got my hands on some beautiful heritage pork and we are going to turn it into super crunchy pork belly. This is some amazing Dutch pork. Some of the best we got and it comes from the monks. Yes, better believe it. The monks kept this heritage pork breed alive and now we have it available to make awesome food with. And I'm so proud of that as a Dutch man. So what better thing to do with a pork belly with the skin on than turning it into a crispy pork belly. And let me show you how the Chinese inspired me to do it like this. The first step of preparing our pork belly to be crispy is to jab it. And we're using our mechanical tenderizer to do so. We're puncturing all of these little tiny holes into the skin. When that's done, we're taking a pan full with boiling hot water and we're using a large spoon to pour the boiling water over the pork skin. Now this is a long process. You need to repeat this for at least 10 minutes to make sure that the pork skin is fully cooked. Puncturing the skin is an important step because it opens up the skin. And then pouring over that hot water like the Chinese are doing it, it's the perfect combination. Because by pouring it over, the skin detaches and it starts to cook without cooking the actual pork meat underneath. And that's exactly what we want. Can you imagine if you already cook your pork meat? Aye, that will make the pork dry. And now it's time to pat our pork belly dry with a paper towel. Then take a non-ferro tray and load it up with rock salt. Make sure you got a nice layer. Place the pork belly on the salt with the skin down and set it in the fridge. Time to get our pork out of the fridge. I'm so excited. It's been in there for over 12 hours. Man, this is gonna be good. Let's take a closer look. Our pork belly looks really good and the salt did its job by drying out that skin. We can just use a little bit of paper towel to brush off that rock salt. No need to rinse it off with water. Of course, we want to add some flavor to our pork belly. So we're going to make a rub consisting of salt, paprika powder, onion powder, curry powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, and black pepper. We wrote all of that down just to make sure you get the right recipe on our website. Sprinkle the rub on the pork belly and make sure you got a nice thick coat on it. Now, let's fire up our burnout smoker. Pork belly's on and I set the burnout smoker to a temperature of 190 degrees Celsius. This should be enough for a pork skin, but I want to keep my eye on it because pork skins are delicate and we do want it to become nice and crunchy. Let's close the lid and let this thing cook. a lot of things about crackling and crispy and crunchy pork but there's only one reality and that's the one that is in front of you pulled pork and other things i'm just gonna grab a, a, like a really nice piece it needs to be crunchy i'm just gonna eat the whole piece i'm drowning <laughs> mm. it cracked so hard Mm. It was so loud. There's just something wow. beautiful about pork. That is some good crunch. I wasn't particularly hungry, but the moment that you taste that, that saltiness and that, that crunch, <laughs> it's a sort of an MSG. Like MSG is supposed to let you continue to eat. It's forcing you to eat more. You know, there's an art to getting pork skin crispy. And you keep eating and eating and eating. You gotta work at it. It's tough, and naturally tough. So you gotta work at it and keep on going, and keep on going. And once you find that sweet spot on how you do it, you know, and that technique works for you, then you can do it every time. You just have to keep on going. 
and that's just beautiful. And there's so many techniques to make a good, crunchy, crispy pork. You know, you can do on a rotisserie, for instance, and you can let it rotate for hours and hours, and then in the end, it turns out super, super crispy. So really, there's not one perfect way to do it or one guaranteed way to do it. But if you do it this way, you're gonna get a crispy skin. And hey, I'm talking here. You know what? You can do this in your oven too. Mm. Well, let me show you what we did. We did not just make crackling. We also got juicy and tender pork. And look at it. Look at that. It's pulled pork. So not only did we create crackling, but we also made pulled pork in the process. Oh yeah, that's pulled. That is pulled. Pulled pork and crispy skin. The best of both worlds. Mm. Oh. oh wow. I'm not gonna throw that away. I don't, I'm confused now. Did we just make crispy pork? Did we make crunchy pork? This is perfect. Did we make pulled pork? We made it all. Marcin, this is a pot of gold. There's just so much to this pork. Pork belly, pork crunchy, pulled pork. Nice bark. I just, I'm just gonna keep on eating. This is awesome. If you ever seen dark, no, not talking about dark. If you ever seen dark, it's about no. three, three, three dimensions coming together, and this is it. This, those are those three dimensions. This is like the the tev television show. Finish the video for me. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it, give us a thumbs up and a comment down below. I want to thank all the patrons, all the YouTube members, everybody that's watched this. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. If you want to know more about uh, how to create this, check out their website. See you guys later. In the meantime, you got to do that part. Eet makkelijk. And keep on grilling. Whew. The, the bark is really good as well. And the combination of all things. I sat, I sat here for a really long time. I'm so full now. No, you almost ate the whole thing. I'm, I'm, I operated the camera, but I'm not sure I did a good job. Let me check. How do you know you're on, on screen? How do you, how's my hand? How does this work? Gee, I didn't do it right. You're I not even in the shot. I think I'm not in the shot. <sighs> so I was already going like this. Yeah. But I was worried that I was not going to be in the shot so I was like this. You were talking about. I think it's okay. It's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't have an opinion People because I'm full anyway. of meat. I don't care when I'm yeah, full. You, you look like oh, you're almost drunk on meat. I'm, I am. I am drunk of meat. And I can't move my hands because they're all over. Greasy. Yeah, they're so greasy.